turn on the organization. You get on their bad side and they'll destroy you. No, that's me. That's not true. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy B Smooth, aka Sauce Lord. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. Alright, I ain't gonna lie, this is actually really, really different. I'm not used to doing things like this, but this one right here is going to be my personal tier list for Apex Legends. I've never done a tier list before. Um, this is based upon, in my opinion, to not, you know what I'm saying, like character's abilities but to who I use and what I feel like is a better advantage of who I play against and what happens to me so yeah I'm a little sluggish on this type of stuff because I'm not used to like going first take on things like this so we're gonna start with the D-list I'm gonna start with the D-list I know that everybody's gonna get kind of pissed off about this one very very pissed off but I'm gonna have to add this one to the D-list I'm gonna have to put my boy Gibraltar there couple reasons why I'm not a big fan of Gibraltar I, I I get smacked by him plenty of times but I'm always smacking people with him he's not very mobile he's just like very defensive and that's good but when it comes to like holding houses down and things like that it's just not my it's not my thing to do so moving on to another person I'm gonna have to put on the D-list and that is Rampart I don't I'm not sure She's just not very useful to me. I mean, I don't really get much done with her. I, I don't use her at all to begin with, but still, it's just, she's just, it's just not hitting for me. But that's the only things I'm gonna put on the D list. That's the only thing I'm gonna put on the D list, all right? I mean, I'm just gonna do everything in order and just assign them, whatever. But we got Bangalore here. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna put Bangalore right here. They tried to give her a little buff with the with her airstrike with the you know trying to make it more quicker it, it just doesn't hit like her double time is good though which is good for one-on-one -on -one fights that's why i put her in the b list because her one-on-one -on -one fights are they're, they're they're okay they're they're all right but um use that double time right then add it to your strengthening ability and your good aim you should be pretty good with that moving on to my boy bloodhound i'm not gonna lie he's got to go on the s list Especially for the big buff that they uh, gave him recently. The, the biggest buff was... Sorry about that. My, I was getting a phone call. Let me go ahead and stop this right now. Yeah, the biggest buff that they gave him was... You know, for his scans to be so much more efficient whenever he gets into his, his ultimate. Not only that, but... You get... Like, every time you get somebody, you knock them down when it's like... I think 15 seconds left it adds on more time like i think it's added additional three to five seconds something like that and it's very very useful those late games or those hunting moons where you're just playing aggressive easily you just can just go ahead and do that moving on to caustic we're gonna throw caustic on that a list not gonna lie you see caustic is just he's a different breed it's a different breed he can lock down the hounds he can just come forth at you his ultimate just pretty much Push you in the binding position to where you have to make some some big plays or you're just gonna have to sit there and just take that gas and try to fight at him now when he gets through that gas he sees through that gas and sees his opponent which makes it so 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 deadly but if you just see if you just lay top you know what I'm saying those traps down in the right spot you can catch people slipping off guard moving on to crypto after the couple buffs they tried to give him, I'm still kind of put him on the seed list. I know I use crypto sometimes and I, I, I do things with them, but that drone is just, I feel like they can do so much more with them. He could be up there with the B's and the A's if the drone can follow him or just talk, you know, give it some more special abilities. I'm not going to speak too much on crypto. We're going to jump straight right into lifeline and of course we're going to have to put her uh, I'm gonna have to put her in the A list. I know people's gonna get upset. She's gonna have to go in the A list. A low profile skill makes her a tough target to hit. Not to mention her combat medic skills, but that's just it. Like, what about she, you know, just getting cornered by multiple people or you're in the wrong situation? 
Like most people who play Lifeline play aggressive because of her low profile. Their strafing ability is good. They can help their teammates out. You know, she's a very tough, tough character. She's not able to get out of out of combat though, like that. Yeah, she's tough to hit, but if someone has a good aim, it's good night. We're gonna hold in. Oh, oh, excuse me. We're going ahead and move on to Loba. Alright, we're gonna uh this one's pretty tough. We're gonna throw Loba. I'm gonna have to put Loba in the C's. Like I play a Loba. Everybody think like, wow, you use Loba a lot. That's what you got, you know, most of your good games from. Yes, but like there's like so much they can add to it. They make their black market 60 seconds, every 60 seconds, which is very impressive. Gives you a better chance uh to get the loot, especially in-game loot, steal other people's loot when you're right around the corner, and expanded the range. But the jump bracelet, they need to add more things with that jump bracelet, make it more efficient. Um, lower the timer on it too. I mean, 15 seconds is, I know people saying six, 15 seconds is good enough, but sometimes it gets, you know, worse and worse and worse. And I just like to see them add a little bit more for Loba, not to mention the low profile ability. Come on, man, give her low profile. You can take it away from Pathfinder and give it to her. Moving on to my boy Mirage. Gonna have to put Mirage on the B list because of his decoy system. Now in season zero, his decoy system, well, season zero through, I say about five, I'm not sure particular when they added the buff to where when he heals you or when he revives you, it makes him dis, you know, you and the person he's reviving disappear. Not only that, but his decoys, you know, his ultimate. It used to be where he could disappear. Now, it's like many clones, like like Shadow Clone Jutsu. Seriously, reminds me so much of Naruto. When you use it, you, it's abusing. Moving on to my boy Octane. I'm gonna have to put Octane on that A list. I was gonna put him on that B list, but I can't put him on there just yet because of the combat healing system. The moment they give him that combat healing, it's just it set the tone. It made things a lot a lot more different. This tier list right here is really 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 messed up. I'm going to go ahead and go to Wraith. Well, I'm, you already know I'm going to put Wraith right there on that S. Got to put Wraith on that S. Most definitely top tier. If anything, she should be in this position. Hold on. They won't let me switch it? Okay, cool, cool, cool. She should be in that position. It's, it's, it's guaranteed that she should belong there. Moving on to Pathfinder. I have to put Pathfinder at the A. Got to put him there. The grappling, they tried to fix it, but they couldn't. And then we had a terrible glitch with him too like come on man and give pathfinder that love that he had earlier if it takes taking the low profile off of him do that and apply that to loba like i said before moving on to our guy revenant here gonna put him in the s guys to put revenant in s he is definitely a skillful character he with his silence ability his totem has no range i repeat his totem has no range so many different Things you can do with that totem you put it in the right position in the right nick of time you can get yourself planned back out go back out there healed up good to go and clear things out last but not least we're gonna have to go with my girl watson she's gonna go on the b list i used watson a couple times but I, I i get a kick out of her sometimes she can get you out of a fight that's most definitely and she can lock down a perimeter she really really is mobile and slept on by a lot of people but this concludes my tier list for Apex Legends. It wasn't much, and I, I, I tried to make it out of something. So, if you like this, cool, say something. I know a lot of you not, is going to disagree with it. Whatever. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.